Hello and welcome back to K-Tech Designs. My name is Seth. I'm here with another tutorial with uh, FreeCAD. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over the uh, revolve cut and the polar pattern features in FreeCAD using this uh, simple model that I created uh, for my child's diaper pail. The diaper pail uses a baking soda odor remover puck and it sits in a housing and then this housing gets uh, mounted to the uh, pail lid. Uh, my son lost the holder so I uh, designed my own. Um, so I'll show you how I designed it and I will show you how to make this in FreeCAD. All right, let's get started. So here's an image of the locking feature I need to interface with. And here's an image of the sketch of dimensions that I pulled from that feature. All right, starting from a new part. I'm not gonna really go over that, but if you have the start page, uh, create new. I've already saved it. Okay, first task is to create a body and then create sketch. And I'm sketching on the YZ plane for this one. Uh, since we're doing a revolve shape, uh, we need to create the profile. And the profile looks like this. Let's draw a poly polyline. Start here, go up and over. Oops. I'll start back here, go over this way. Uh, now I need to make some curve features to hold the puck in. The puck is actually kind of like a donut shape without the hole in the center. Uh, so I need to create a, a curve feature to uh, hold it in. So let's grab our, maybe let's grab the correct version of that. Let's grab an uh, end point and rim point circle. I need to create one and two. Now let's add some points on the opposite ends here so we can create our inner dimension. Um, select those two and this axis and then make those symmetric. I'm going to go ahead and dimension it right away. And that dimension should be 51.56 millimeters, oops, already millimeters selected. Select OK. Wow, I really goofed that up. We'll add that back in later. Uh, now the thickness of this part I made to be three, sorry, grab these two. 3.05 millimeters. So I designed this all in English, so you're going to get some funky millimeter dimensions there. I'll just delete that for now until I get everything squared away. Um, for this thickness, I made it a little bit thinner so that it would flex easier. But, oh, sorry. So that it would flex easier, but it really should be uh, this thick if you were to, you know, injection mold this thing. Okay. Actually, I do want to make these vertical. And then I think this inner dimension is supposed to be 9.53. Zoom in a bit so I can see where I'm putting these things. Okay, 
one, two. Of course, select these two and make them tangent. Press T for tangent. It seems to be the only one I remember <laughs> how to do the shortcut for. And then we need to connect these, but I'm going to use a little reference geometry to make that easier. So I'll make these tangent. And then I'm going to make this line connect. And these two will be perpendicular. There we go. Uh, I think I can make these two concentric. Yeah, make those two. Doesn't like it. Okay. And then the inner diameter. Or did I do radius? The inner radius on that one should be 9.53. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's good. Let's see if I can draw this in a little bit more. Don't need it to be that crazy. And then I do need a point down here to make symmetric with that point. Oh my god. I cannot think today. Okay, and that in the inner dimension should be 46.03. Perfect. Now that's fully dimensioned and we can close that sketch. The next thing we want to do is click revolution and we need to pick the correct axis which is Y. That looks better. Uh, 360 degrees is correct. Click OK. Now the next thing we need to do is make the um, insert feature into the pale lid. So we're going to do that by selecting this face and making a sketch on that surface. Um, this is going to be a circle pad. So we need to make a circle with a diameter of 45.3, uh, sorry, 25 millimeters. Close that sketch, pad that, and the padding is quarter inch, so 6.35 millimeters. Now this edge needs a little chamfer on it. One millimeter is correct. So now that we've got the overall shape done we need to create some cutouts. So the interface feature is kind of like a slot slide in uh, feature. So we need to make that. And then this needs to flex a little bit in order to fit the puck in. So we're going to create some cutouts, uh, three cutouts to allow that. So starting with the uh, lock feature, we need to create a sketch on this plane, the YZ plane. And then I'm going to hide the body, press spacebar to hide it so that I can uh, see the sketch itself. Uh, this is a pretty simple feature. We just need a rectangle. Create my symmetric point. Uh, that dimension is seventy six point sorry, seventy six seven point six two millimeters. The thickness should be 3 point, uh, sorry, 3.3 .3 millimeters. Oh, I see what I did wrong there. That's the wrong symmetry. This point is what I need. The outer symmetry is 
is 45.25, which as you recall is the same diameter as our pad, 45.25. Okay, so that thickness is correct. Uh, now the height of this cutout should be 7.62. All right, now that that's done, we need to make a revolve cut. We need to pick the y-axis, and we're not cutting through the entire thing. We only need 52 degrees of cut, 52 degrees revolve cut on that one. Okay, that looks good. Uh, now we need to create the cutout for the um, locking feature to even get in there. So we're just gonna repeat the same process we did earlier. Um, and revolve it a fewer, and revolve it 25 degrees. So create your sketch on your YZ plane. Hide that body, um, and we need to pick up where we left off, so we're going to go off of the axis there. I need my symmetric point. Mess that up. Symmetric. That dimension is, again, 45.25. This overall height is 7.62. Uh, the thickness is, we'll just do 3.5. Make sure we have enough uh, meat, so to speak, to pass the model. Let me just check. Let's set this dimension and see if that'll fix it. This should be a quarter inch. Huh. This dimension should be 3.302. That's where I messed up. Of course. Okay. So as you can see, that will create a cut um, right next to our previous cut. And it's outside of the uh, outer limits, so we won't have any uh, thin features. So with that cut, uh, create a revolve cut. Pick your Y axis. And this is only going 25 degrees. Save that. I'm missing something. We'll just make that 3.3 so that we don't have any overlap. Okay. There we go. All right, that looks great. The next thing we need to do is create our cutouts here. So let's start a sketch on this surface. Uh, this cut's really easy. It's just a pie shape. We'll go up to here. Go out to here. Make a three-point arc. Um, this leg should be um, 56 over 2. Make these two equal. And then this should have a diameter of 56. We need to mention the opening, and I've decided that 60 degrees was good enough for me. All right, that's fully defined. We're outside of the material, so we'll cut through it. Um, this is just a regular pocket cut. And we want to say through all uh, reversed. Okay. There, now we have our two features, and we're going to uh, make a polar pattern of those. 
So what you want to do is select Create Polar Pattern. The features that we want, if I remember right, is the pocket, this groove, and this groove. So we need our pocket, our groove, and our groove. Let's hold Control to select more than one. Select OK. The axis to revolve around is the Y axis. Okay. And we want three occurrences. So there you go. Now you're pretty much done. All we have left to do is a little bit of cleanup. Um, I wanted some fillets on these edges, so I made a small one millimeter fillet on all edges. Now I think technically I could have made this fillet on the cut edges right after I made my pocket cut and then I could have revolved that. Um, but sometimes it's a little bit cleaner to put all of your fillets onto uh, one feature after your pattern uh, if you need to make edits or something. Sometimes having those fillet features in the revolve can mess things up. Uh, then the last thing I want to do is just make this edge chamfered. I believe I just want a 0.5 millimeters on that. All edges. And again, this probably could have been patterned on the revolve. Maybe I should do it right. Okay, I think that should actually be one. Yeah, one millimeter. And that's it, you're done. All right, thanks for watching this tutorial. Hopefully that helped you uh, learn how to use polar pattern and revolve cuts in FreeCAD. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.